What's going on creative people of the internet? On today's video, I want to show you something that I am working on. It's actually the redesign of our website. And it's something that I've been doing for the last few days. Um, the current website that we have is working pretty good, but we sort of wanted to adapt the website to sort of the new branding that we are putting out there and also more to the target audience that we have. So in this video, what I want us to work on is to create the case studies collection. And there are a couple things that I want to do with this. So the first one is that I want a user, whenever they go to the website and let's say they click on work or case studies, I want them to be able to do a few things. One, of course, is to be able to see a big list of all the projects that we have created. I know some people say to just showcase three or a lot more than four, but what I have seen in the past is that the more work they showcase, once the quality is good, then it works really well because it sort of shows your authority on the field. The second thing that I want them to do is to be able to filter properly. And what I mean by this is that we work with tech startups who are in the early stages and they are different types even though they are all startups they might be logistics they might be in analytics they might be a venture capital that might hire us to do some work for them and i sort of want the user to be able to you know go to the website and easily search for this and the other thing that i want to do is for them to be able to search for the type of work that they are looking for so normally our design process or our engagement with clients it starts with something small which might be like a sales deck or a pitch deck design so i want them to be able to go into the case study page and then be able to click um you know by the different um company fields so let's say they are in analytics they click analytics and then they're also also able to pick for like say sales deck webflow website web development ux projects um, product development or anything like that so in this video to not make it like super long what i'm going to be doing is i'm only going to concentrate on the cms part of things and then i will create another one to show you how i'm bringing that cms into a page and then the next one maybe just to show you how we put everything together and we put it out there so if you're interested stay tuned for this project in particular what i'm doing is that i am using fn suites um, client first framework and if you haven't heard about it, I will make a review to see if it's really worth using it for your next Webflow project. But it pretty much is just CSS classes and a wireframe to allow you to be able to code faster so you can build the website in less time. But also for anyone that works in your project to be able to understand what anything or any CSS class represents. So now let's move into the CMS, enough talk about the website. Um, let's build a CMS collection. So the first thing that we want to do is to go to the collection list. So we're going to click it. As you can see, I already have one here created. But if we go to settings, you will see it doesn't really have too many things here. The only thing that all I always do is I go ahead and create a CMS collection. It already comes with a name and a slot. And then I always add meta title and description and feature image because I want to use that for SEO purposes. So the first thing here that we have to keep in mind is what I said before about I wanting my users to be able to filter by company type and also by work type. So to do that, what we have to do is that we have to create three collection lists, right? And then it's going to be a collection list for case studies or work. It's going to be a collection list for work type and it's going to be a, another collection list for um, company type. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to link company type and work type into one um, collection list, which will be the case study list. The first one I think we should build is a company type. And for that, we're gonna go over to here where we have the um, create a new collection list icon. We're just going to name this company type, keep it very simple so everyone knows what it is. Um, we don't need anything else other than the name. Um, you can go ahead and add something like color per se, but I don't think it's needed for this one, at least not yet. Um, but let's just go ahead and do it. Um, color, um, we're gonna use this to differentiate different company types. So we're gonna create a collection now. And that collection is already created, really easy. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a work type collection. 
so we're gonna call this work type and the same thing um, for this one I really don't need a color so I'm just gonna go ahead and click create collection and now we're going to move to work with our case study where um, collection where everything will take place and this one um, what I want to do is that I sort of want when the user goes into this um, a single case study page I want them to see the title of the case study which is something that's really good um, to attract them to continue reading more and then from there I want them to see the goals of the that we accomplished by doing this work so this can be like you know the amount of revenue um, the client was able to raise um, the, the time that it took us to be able to go to market with the deck and with the website or anything that we're creating and I'm not sure maybe something else that might be um, relatable to what this project was about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create quite some fields here um, for anything that's a title that is not is a short piece of text I'm going to be using plain text so we're gonna pull a name one goal title one and for anything else that might be a paragraph or so, you can use um, rich text. But for this one, I just want to be like five million dollars, and then um, the subtitle of it might be like fun, um, raise in X amount of weeks or 14 days, 14 and then days to launch and stuff like that. So I'm just going to keep them all as plain text. So gold one description, or oh, let's just name it description. And then I'm going to name and create the next one, goal title 2, and goal description. So now that we have the goals that we uh, want the website, the user to read, um, the next thing that I want them to see is the this full content of the case study. I normally what I will do is that I will break this into um, a background of the company, or and then the background of the project, like why we were hired and all this. Then um, the challenge or the problem they were facing at the moment, right? This is what we were trying to overcome. The solution that we implemented in it. And then, of course, at the end, um, like a paragraph or two with the results. Now, within these different blocks, what I want to also do is sort of show the process. So I will be putting some images within all this different content. So for that, the best option to do and also to be able to save more space on your CMS is to use a rich text um, field. And we're going to call this um, case study content. And then later on, if you want, what you can do is just go ahead and create some image fields if you want to add, you know, just like an image of your of the work that you did and whatnot. But for me, I think right now the case, um, a rich tech field will work perfect. Now this is where sort of the magic happens because we do want to showcase the work that type that we did. So whether it was branding, it was a Webflow project or a sales deck, and we also want to show which um, company type this company belongs to. But here's where it might get um, interesting because what we want to do is that for work types, sometimes or most of the time, is more than one type of work. So we might have done a Webflow project with a sales and a pitch deck, or we might have done a Webflow project with branded. Right, so for this, if there's a really easy way to solve this in Webflow. So what we're going to do is we're gonna click Add Fields, and you will see two options right here. One is your multi-reference, which is the one I'm going to be using for this one. I will tell you why in a second. And one is just a reference tool, uh, field, sorry. So for this one, we want to be able to use multi-reference for work types because we're going to be um, sort of connecting this case study to more than one. So by using multi-reference will allow us to do that. So we're gonna call this work types just like how we have it in the collection list name. And we need to choose a collection that we want to um, pull the data from, and that's gonna be work types. Then the second one that we want is company types. 
but there are not many cases where a company might be more than one type, right? So you might not have one that is in analytics, logistics, XYZ. We sort of just want to choose, um, allow the user to choose one option because it might work better for them. So what we want to do in that case is just to use a reference type of reference field. And we're gonna call this company name, company types. And this one we're going to choose company types as well. And just one tip to use if you're not creating a website for yourself but for a client, always try to put help text to, so that they can know exactly what it is without having to contact you to see like, okay, where do I add company types? Where do I do this? Right, so just have it here. This time is website is a website for us, so um, normally I will be the one behind here. So that's all right. And then we click save field, and now we can also click save collection. So if we go over to one of the dummy content that I've created here, which by the way Webflow can do it for you, um, give you like five or ten, I think twenty different dummy um, content, so that you can just see how it works, which is what I use for the homepage. Um, you will be able to do it a lot faster, but here you can see the collection has been created But right now work types and this and company types are empty because we don't have any content there So what I want us to do is go over to work types and we're gonna click um, new To create a new one and um, what we want to do is do like a web flow option You can click enter or save just to see um, What you just did and then we also want to do one that is called sales deck branding and for now that's enough um, just for the example and then we want to go to company type and we want to go ahead and create a venture capital as one for venture, cap venture capital yeah. And this one we can give it a color we can use brand color so you can change it to what you want click save then the next one that we want is logistic so we that blue and I think that's enough for now um, and now when we go over to our case studies, let's use the first one. You will be able to see that in work types you can have sales deck, you can also have webflow and brand. Right? So we have the ability to add as many um, of these ones as we want. But for company type, we can only choose one, which is the goal that we want. So the next thing that I would recommend is to sort of organize your CMS collections to um, read better in the sense like when let's see if it's not you if it is someone else who comes to put content here I sort of want them to be able to do this in a specific order so I'm gonna go over to I'm just gonna save this really quick and then I'm gonna click the settings icon on the collection list that I want to edit and then um, the way to do this in Webflow is really easy and I always recommend you to do it just to make things a lot simpler for your users um, because sometimes we have to think about the people who are seeing the website in the front end but also the back end users who are going to be editing this website so always I want to have my meta title, my meta description and feature image right at the top because this is for SEO purposes and then um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and move work types right below this and company type right below this and that way is quite organized when they are filling in the contact and we're gonna click collection list the last thing I want to show you on this part of it is for meta title and meta description because we are using this for SEO we want to make sure that um, the user is not able to type in a lot of content so for meta title I am using a maximum characters count of 60 so that they cannot write over 60 characters um, long and for meta description I'm using 140 because we need to be able or we need to get in the habit of seeing more with less words and with SEO it's really important so that it's all the content that we need them to see it's right there so now that all that is saved um, we're good to go with the case study um, collection list 
so on the next video i'm going to show you how we're going to take that collection list and make it into a single case studies page and also a tab on the website where once the user clicks it will be able to see the list of case studies and then on the next video after that i think what we will be working on is to be able to create a filter that is going to allow the user to be able to filter accordingly to what we want them to do so make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button so when i post that video you get a notification and i will see you again in the next video